This is a special edition of the Random Hockey Show with four-time Stanley Cup winner and Hockey Hall of Fame goaltender Patrick Waugh. Brought to you by Sortilege, maple whiskey liqueur. Taste the original. Patrick, thanks for your time. Merci beaucoup. You're very welcome. You're very involved in this organization from upper management being the GM as well as the owner and the head coach. What is it about the junior hockey lifestyle that uh, inspires you to make the commitment, so to speak? Well, to be honest with you, when I, uh, when I was in the NHL, at the time, Pierre Lacroix was uh, my agent and uh, before he came to Quebec and then in Denver. But um, one thing he always said to me, prepare your, uh, your future and uh, try to have something that you would love to do at the end of your career because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a big, big, big change in your life when you leave the NHL. I mean, be with the players, the traveling. Uh, the expectation, the pressure of games, and on and on, and um, and uh, for a lot of players, I'm sure when you retire, I mean, it's 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 a big step in your life. And uh, um, you know, around the '96 year, I mean, I uh, 1996, I uh, there was an opportunity to uh, buy a junior team, and uh, and when I was younger, the Quebec Ramparts. Uh, we were in the junior uh, major league in Quebec, the Quebec League at the time, and and my mom were was bringing my brother and I here to the games, and and uh, it was a fun time in my life. And uh, when that window uh, arrived, uh, that opportunity arrived, um, uh, I said, you know what? I mean, it might be something I would love to do when it's over, and. Uh, and bring back the Quebec round parts was something that I was uh, I thought might be a very good idea. And uh, I had a partner, Jacques Tanguy, who's a partner today. I uh, said uh, I met with him by uh, by a friend on a golf course, and, and we met after. And and I said, you know what? I'd love to uh, bring back the Quebec round parts. And he said, you know what? There's a team in Beauport, and there's a there might be an opportunity for us to to buy that team back. And and. Uh, we could bring the round parts back, and uh, I remember that year. And we, I was calling uh, the billets, see how was the player, and and stuff like that. Then I knew that was something I wanted to do when it when it was over. The team's had such great success since you took over the helm in 2005, winning the Memorial Cup that year. Mm -hmm. What is it about your coaching style that translates into effectively motivating these junior hockey players? Yeah, it's nice what you're saying, but at the same time, I was just the coach. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I thought we, uh, with the scouts and and and, and everybody uh, around, I mean, we uh, we made the right decision. We we pulled a few good trades, and uh, we brought in a, a player by the name of Alexander Radulov as a as an import player, and then we drafted a player by the name of Angelo Esposito. Then I mean, and then we had a really, really good veteran player. I mean, we made a great trade for for Cedric Desjardins, who was really solid in the in the in the Memorial Cup, especially the last game against Moncton. And then Sersen came in in the trade with Rimouski also, and uh, Vlasic was a great draft pick by our scouts, and and we had a very, very good group. I mean, it was not an easy group to coach but at the same time it was a it was a group that that really wanted to win and it was it was a group that was very passionate about the game of hockey and and um, we had a really good year I mean the guys were working hard the guys were then as a coach I felt that I had not much to do in, in with that team I mean yes I mean I had to come prepare yes I had we we had a system in place yes we we had a lot of meetings, a lot of discussion about how we want to approach this and that. But overall, the credit should go to the players because they're the one who, who has performed at, the, at that high level. Absolutely, that's true. But I mean, there must be a technique. Uh, it can't always be easy to motivate 16 to 20 year old hockey players. No, that group was easy. I mean, uh, I was, uh, I was, I, al I always told them that you will tell me what kind of coach you want me to be. If you want me to be soft, I could be soft. If you want me to be tough, I could be tough. And and and, and um, I'd say probably 80% of the time it was it was smooth. And uh, when we had to uh, to be a little more strict than we were, but <clears throat> they were a, a fun group to be a part of it. 
and this group as well I mean motivating them how is that working out for you this year ah oh, it's a great group um, I mean I love to um, I love to share my past uh, with them bring some experience positive or even negative uh, see how I felt that the player respond to those challenge and and our teams the team that I played with how they they, they felt and and what they were willing to do and the sacrifice and uh, the commitment on and on but um, it's it, it was fun and it was uh, I mean sorry it is fun and it's challenging at the same time because this year uh, nobody really expect much about our teammate and uh, when we finished last year last year last season I should say even us as an organization say mm, maybe we're gonna we're gonna have to go through a tougher year and uh, and fortunately for us I mean we made uh, we had a great opportunity we made great draft picks a uh, couple of good trades free agent came in and here we are I mean we're in, we're in the top what four in our league actually three because we're, we're third overall uh, Blainville is ahead of us because they're number one in their division but uh, but uh, saying so I mean it's uh, it's a surprise for us but at the same time it was a nice challenge uh, for us as an organization to uh, to come and, 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 and try to pull uh, all the uh, the players that we brought in and, and have fun with it your son, Frederick, Anthony Duclair, of course, mm -hmm. Mikhail Gregorenko, yep. they're having tremendous years. The playoffs are just around the corner. What do you think are the Ramparts' chances this year? Well, you know what? I like our chance. Um, I think uh, the three you've mentioned have been, in the, they definitely had a very good year. And uh, I'm sure they will perform in the playoffs. And, and uh, we also have other guys on this team that could bring leadership on the fence and as a forward as well. And uh, we have two very good goaltenders. Then uh, when you're in a, in a position like this, absolutely you could surprise. And I have no doubt in my mind that, um, that uh, this team will do whatever it takes to, to advance one round at a time. But uh, I'm confident that we could, uh, could have a good run. So in your opinion, who do you foresee as being the biggest challenge in your quest to win another Memorial Cup? With this group, the the biggest the, the biggest challenge for us to do so. To be honest with you, I mean it's um, the challenge is is who we're gonna play against and how we're gonna respond to, to the, the challenge. I mean, if you look at our league, I mean St. John is is certainly the team to to beat, and uh, uh, Shawinigan has a, a much better team since uh, they made those trade at, 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 at Christmas, but. Everything is possible as long as you believe in yourself. And uh, and if we go out there and play as uh, as a unit of five plus a goalie, obviously, but a unit of five every time you're on the ice and everybody's alert, everybody's sharp, and, and everybody believes in themselves, why not? Okay, so now junior hockey, very different from the NHL lifestyle. You spend a lot of time on buses, yeah. okay, traveling around. You must have to kill some time with video games, TV shows. What do you guys do? What do you do? Well, I, I do pretty much a bit of both, but we also do some uh, some uh, video for the players. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch uh, uh, some of our games, prepare the next game. Uh, uh, but I'd say probably eighty percent of the time. I mean, sixty percent of the time, I'm gonna watch TV or I'm gonna watch some movies. Then, uh, but it's. It's fun to be with the, with the, the players, and um, I don't see it for myself as a problem. Actually, I mean, I see it as a as a great time to be uh, to be all the players together and ourselves. And, and and sometimes, I mean, we laugh, and sometimes we uh, we uh, we uh, we're very quiet. Any TV shows in particular? Someone in the organization might have mentioned that you like twenty four seven or you're into shows like that. Yeah, I love CSI, uh, Miami, Vegas. I mean, New York. Uh, I like shows like that. To be honest with you, I mean, uh, before I was watching Twenty Four, uh, I thought that was uh, that was awesome, and and I think there's a new uh, a new show coming uh, coming soon, but different a bit. But I mean, it'll be uh, interesting to watch. All right, word on the street is that you might have a friend in Tiger Woods's caddy. Any thoughts on that, or do you, would you like to comment? 
No, I I I, uh, I knew uh, Joe Lacava through uh, Fred Couples. Uh, Joe is a great guy, and, and he's a, he's he loves hockey. He's a big Rangers fan. Uh, he's been uh, he's been watching a lot of. He's he's he loves every sport, I would say. But I mean, he's a great guy, and and and, and uh, we've been texting uh, here and there in the last uh, few years, and I always have fun talking to him. I mean, he's a very very nice guy. All right, my last question is, and I know you've heard this question before, but I just want to see if your views have changed at all. Clearly, you're committed to this organization right now, the Quebec Ramparts. In the future, is there any possibility of seeing you behind the bench of an NHL franchise? Well, I mean, it's going to be tough for me to leave. Uh, I'm, I'm, I know that. I mean, there's been some opportunity in the past. Um, maybe one day I, I will... I will um, I will look at, look at the different challenge, but as we speak, I'm very happy where I am. And uh, but obviously, I mean, every time there's a there's a team that calling or or someone asking me, uh, yes, I'm open to listen. Uh, and maybe one day it's going to be the right decision. I mean, it'll be the right choice to make and the right uh, right time and and the right team for me. And uh, but as we speak, I have a, I have a great challenge in front of. Uh, we have a great challenge in front of us, and, and I enjoy every minute of it. Thank you very much for your time, and I wish you all the best uh, in the playoffs. You're very welcome. Brought to you by Sortilege, a blend of Canadian whiskey and maple syrup, and an authentic product from the Quebec heartland. Sortilege, taste the original. Cheers to Quebec City and Sortilege. Cheers. Cheers.